Change the, the, don't start doing weird shit. Yeah. Good. All right? So I'm blocking that one back in the mirror. You're going immediately to four or sit back in the back? That position was good time. The ball was, had fallen too far and it was right over the table. So for these, you have to, for underspin especially, you, you got to aim for a top of that. Same shot, but you can't let it drop at all. Because it's already a low shot. If you let it drop, unless it's off the table, and you're going to lift it. But these are half long, so yeah, top of that. Concentrate on hitting at top of bounce. Oh, good, my bad. <laughs> okay, that's a 
good example. So the, why did I mess you up on the other ones? It's because your, your bow is fast, but it's too high. It's not too high? Yeah, no, except for that last one. You ripped it, and it was, it was two inches above the net. There's no way I could get it. Because once the ball bounces higher than the net, I can actually add power and get it back fast. If it stays below the height of net or very close to it, all I can do is lift it up. So that forces me to, I can't attack it unless I let it come off the table and reboot. Keeping the, keeping the loops low and more forward, that, that creates difficulty in plot. Don't, don't, it's just top spin, just lower. Oh, I thought I saved both balls, but this uh, one. Don't, don't overthink it. Just treat it like it's possible. Just make sure you time it at top of that. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid I actually hit it too deep. That's why. I can see that you're swinging hard, but the problem is you're, you're circling so much that you end up just doing, doing this every time. So you're wasting about 30, 40% of the power you're generating on your shot. Uh, nice. <laughs> Here. Uh, yep. Yeah. So, so you can still circle and not brush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do you do that is you open the paddle more. You got to think about the circle rotating and going forward. So you're going to hit the ball at like three o'clock with a rotated clock going forward. Yeah. So you have to go in, you have to go the part of the curve that goes forward into the ball instead of, instead of, um, and then you have to make sure your paddle opens up more. You don't get spin, it's because you hit it. You, you, started, you started increasing your forward timing. The first one was good, the second one was even okay. But then you kept stepping forward into the table. And then finally you hit it flat. So it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't that your circle or wasn't, any of that wasn't there. It's because you, you, you have to maintain your distance, or you have to adjust your distance to the timing of the ball. You, you just kept moving into the table. Your time. Oh, it's there? Yeah. 
after the first shot you did one, then you backed up and you hit the second one okay, and then you start walking into the pit. Earlier and earlier? Earlier and earlier. So the, the thing is, if you want that same shot, don't, like, it's justified to come in, but you have to know that that's not, you're, you're hitting a different shot at that point. So you're not, and I don't think that's what you want. You want that spin drive lift. Yeah. So you have to keep your distance off the table to keep that going. You can't, you can't be right coming into it, because you went, you went one, and then you kind of stayed back there for the second one, boom. Then you went like this, and then like this, you, were, you just keep walking into the table. So. Now back, 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 stay back. You start moving in again. For the block that I'm hit. Okay, one uh, constraint I have is I cannot step back too much. So that means oh, that I'm not asking you to step back, you walked in. I'm saying stay where you were. Oh. You you went you, you went forward. So when I say go back, it is to go back to where you were. Not not to so once you get your distance, well, I don't know about that either, because the ball is going to vary in depth. And if you're trying to reproduce the same shot, if I hit one short, you have to move in. But if I have if I hit one long, unless you're okay with changing your shot. Well that's the thing, I have to change the shot, I think that's not. Well, yes and no. So Given the, the reason why you changed the shot, the reason what, what happened was you looped, you did two loops okay, and then you stepped into the table when you didn't have to. So I would say go back because I thought you wanted to keep the spin loop going. So it's not that, it's just that you have to read, you have to read the depth of the block and decide do I want to go into the ball and try and because no you're not looping it that much. Or do I want to get in position to where it falls and then loop it. So you have to you have to think about like what shot do you want to hit and where do I need to be to hit it, depending on the depth of the block. Because sometimes I'm blocking short, so you do have to move in. But if my next block goes deep and high, I mean you want to hit a loop, you have to back up. I mean, all I could do is just touch it. Oh, that's all. 